inside right now. I knew I was gonna make this video, but like I, I really don't know where I'm gonna go with it. I have something to share with you guys, which some of you guys might know already if you follow me on social media or Instagram. I really posted all about it. Your girl moved. Oh, I don't know. Like, life has been so crazy this last week, and the last video I posted, I think, was like my Princess Polly try-on haul, and I don't know. It's just like everything happened so fast that I really didn't have like time to film and stuff like that, and I really wanted to just like sit down and talk to you guys, like film some content, and now I'm finally in the mindset and like I'm not as busy and crazy stressed moving anymore that I'm ready to film again, and I wanted to sit down and make this video and kind of explain like why I moved, what happened, kind of give you guys like a little pep talk to be honest because you know we can all use a pep talk sometimes and kind of like tell you how I was feeling and stuff like before this move and like how everything went down because honestly it's kind of like a story so this is like low-key a story time I never thought in a million years that like I would have moved this week that was not the plan that was not anything that I ever saw in my sight <laughs> you can literally see the u-haul boxes back there life came at me fast and that's just the matter of fact so I'm just so excited to be here like filming oh my god I haven't filmed in so freaking long this is this is crazy so let's share the story about why I moved how I moved all that shit so so basically like before my move I didn't talk about it a lot I mean some of you might have gotten like clues from like Instagram and definitely like Twitter and stuff like I was super unhappy I was super super stressed like probably the most stressed I've ever been I signed myself up for so much expenses like an idiot I've learned so much I'm never gonna be as stupid with finances as I used to be and so I was just struggling like I wasn't making the money that I was making for that month when I signed up for all these expenses and I was making a ton of money it just immediately went to shit I got fired because the guy got fired that hired me and it was just like a whole ass mess so this year 2019 sucked i'm just gonna be quite honest with you this year has sucked besides some of the fun like raves and stuff like that i guess that's like all i've done i haven't traveled i haven't seen my family much i haven't been super active like with friends or going out and stuff i've literally been inside and worrying and stressing like that's been my entire life and it was honestly becoming miserable and to be honest with you my boyfriend was getting the same way and i spend you know a lot of time with him so much time with him that we were like rubbing off on each other and you know I'm not gonna say I was depressed because I was not diagnosed or anything like that but I was at a level of anxiety and stress that my doctor couldn't figure out what was wrong with me he couldn't figure out why I was having heart problems which was another thing I never really talked about I don't think like I was having heart problems I was having chest pains I was getting really dizzy all the time like I just felt like something was wrong I went in and the doctor couldn't find anything wrong with me he sent me to this lady and she was like an anxiety person basically so she took me in and she was like this is what happens when you stress and overthink so she was like kind of explaining it to me and I'd never heard anything like this before which I don't know if this is like needs a trigger warning for like anxiety and stress I don't want to like stress you guys out with this I'm just like literally giving you guys an update so she was just kind of like basically your brain only has a threshold of so much and you can only think about worry about stress about so much you literally have like 60,000 thoughts a day how crazy is that and I was like wow she was like basically when your brain is overloaded and like can't handle all these thoughts all these crazy worries and stress and all that stuff your brain is literally like tapping your body when you feel a pain sometimes and is being like hey stop like chill like I literally can't handle it and then the pain goes into your body because that's the only other place to like put it I guess like but it honestly made sense like when you worry and stress so much it's like an overload on your brain and you start feeling the physical pain in your body it's not even like you know there's an actual heart problem at times of course in some cases it might be it was like literally I was worrying myself stressing myself crying myself into like physical pain and that was something that I've never dealt with before and that was really hard to like deal with and like kind of hear and it was kind of like an emotional day for me in a way because I'd never really been told or like <laughs> understood anxiety and depression so much that resonated so hard with me that basically told me like yeah you have crazy anxiety and she started to connect like my social anxiety to like my videos and like you know I don't feel good enough when my views go down I feel like people don't like me anymore and then I get scared and I'm like what do I do for a career like what am I doing in life and you just start thinking of all these things and to be honest with you I'm going off on such a shy track don't worry I'll get to why I moved and like everything that happened in a moment so yeah literally just story time stay tuned everything she said like hit home and I was just like that's me that's literally me like being a youtuber gets crazy and it can really 
really take a toll on your mental like you don't understand like I've known so many people that have gone through the same thing that I have that are youtubers or social media people and I've gone through it for years it's so hard to explain it's like you're constantly putting yourself out there for other people's approval to need other people's approval and you know it takes time to find a job it takes time to find another career like of course I could go out and get a job and I can't tell you guys how many times I actually consider and I think I want to get back into like the real job world honestly genuinely like I would love to do something in social media I'd love to work for a fashion company I'd love to be like a social media manager like something like that there's so many ideas that I have and would want to do I've been thinking about career choices I've just been thinking about so much you guys so that's like basically my little backstory I don't need to like keep rambling about it but like basically point blank I was in the doctor's office about my anxiety and the last thing I wanted to do was get prescribed like a prescription drug to help my anxiety because I know how bad that is for you and I know how addicting things like that can be and I didn't want to go down that path. I never went back to that lady I was supposed to meet her and I literally had anxiety about going to the girl that was going to help me with my anxiety. Like it, it, it's just stuff like that. So it's just been a hell of a year you guys. That's really all you need to know. It's been a hell of a year for me and I've had my fun. I've had my ups and downs but it's not been good. I was so down in the dumps you guys. I was getting to the point of scary thoughts for real. Like for real. When you feel like things are just so bad and you've been put in such a bad situation from your faults but also from a lot of other people's faults that did you wrong and you just feel like things aren't getting better, they constantly get worse, you can't get ahead, you're stuck, you're scared, you're alone, you have nothing to fall back on. It's just like the scariest feeling in the world. It's like the most like isolating feeling ever. Like, you know, like just knowing as well, like I don't have a parent's house to go home to. If I was struggling really hard or something, like I have to fight and keep going on my own and it gets scary out here. So basically, I had put this ad up on this site called Flip. This is not sponsored. <laughs> this is just literally what happened. And it's, I think it's an app. And basically, I Googled one day back in like May or April when I realized, okay, I can't afford this apartment. Um, I put this apartment up on this app and we did everything we could trying to get out of that place. Like I was trying to get out of it so hard and they were like, oh, like our office ladies. And they were great. I loved our office ladies at our last apartment. But they were like, oh, you basically owe us $10,000, literally $10,000 if you want to break your lease. I was stuck. I was literally trapped. I felt like I was in jail. I was like, I can't afford this. And no law protects me. No anything protects me. Like, I'm screwed unless I want to pay them $10,000 and which I don't have. I was miserable at that place. And it just gave me, like, a dark feeling there. And it was a beautiful apartment. It was a beautiful complex. But there was such a dark feeling there. There was such negative energy, such bad times, terrible fights, like being conned by my ex-manager like truly I also feel like that's kind of why I felt like it was low-key like haunted and I still believe that I feel such a light in this house like I feel such a weight lifted like I literally have the chills because I'm so happy like I literally want to cry out of happiness like I feel so much better in this apartment like I don't feel scared I don't feel like I'm seeing things I don't feel like this depression this anxiety these chest pains like just terrible vibes like it was like the worst experience of my life I don't even know how to explain it and I'm not trying to be dramatic here sorry I'm getting off track I'm probably gonna get off track a lot because that's what I do so basically put my apartment on this app still felt like I was in jail back in like May okay knew that I had to keep paying and probably wasn't getting out of my lease until next February I would have been out of the lease in like February March of next year so I was miserable and so I put this up there and no one really bites so I'm like oh you know this sucks Literally a month, two, three months go by. No one's biting. This app isn't very like poppin'. Not a lot of people are trying to like transfer leases or anything like that. And I was leasing my apartment, so someone was just gonna take over the rest of my lease. It was that simple. They were just gonna like sign for my apartment. I was gonna leave, sign that they are, you know, taking it over, and that's that. It's really simple. I move out. And it's not hard. The only hard thing is finding somebody to wanna do that, you know? I realized like months later that my listing had been taken down. So recently, probably like a few weeks ago, maybe like after I got back from Nocturnal, like September. September 20th I was like oh my god so I retook pictures and I was like you know what like this little thing in me was like ew just let it go like it's whatever like you've been let down so much this isn't gonna change for you nothing's gonna get better but just a little thing in me was like you know what just like spruce up your ad for your apartment make it look good I decided to do a little extra work 
and I took a picture of like, my bedroom, the bathroom, like some other things, and made it look really nice, and I also had an incentive. There was $1,000 off of rent in December, so I got to put that as an incentive on there, and I was like, oh my god, let me update the pictures, let me put like, you get $1,000 off in December, like, get somebody excited for this, because it's, you know, an incentive. Not everybody gets $1,000 off rent. So I update all my things. For a few weeks, nothing happens, nothing happens. I am like going through it, okay? Probably like last week, <laughs> like I am going through it. I'm not happy, I'm stressed out, I'm just like, what do I do with life? Like I'm getting to the point where I seriously can't afford this, like I'm about to get evicted, I'm about to like, I don't even know, like go bankrupt, like I was just like, I can't fight anymore. Everything was gone to shit, you guys. Everything was gone to shit and I was seriously like, I really don't think I can do this anymore. Like, I really don't even want to be here. Like, I, I don't, like, on earth. Like, I don't. Like, I'm so over this. Like, the world is scary. It's corrupt. It just wants your money. It's out to get you. Like, I was texting my best friend, and I was, like, telling her how I felt. And we were just, like, kind of talking about stuff because we were both kind of, like, going through some stuff. And I sent her this long message. Uh, so this was, like, Monday morning, okay? Literally, like, six days ago. Six days ago. <laughs> So weird how everything happens so fast. Monday morning, laying in bed, I sent her this message and even Sebastian was like, what are you sending? And I was just like a long message about like how I felt. And like, honestly, I wish like I was in a better position so I could get out of this apartment so I could like just better my situation, but I'm stuck in this apartment. Like I don't have a lot of money right now. Like I was just like explaining how I was feeling. I send the text and literally, I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes later, I get a message and it's like comes through as a text and it's from the Flip app and it's, a couple, I'm not gonna name them, but the couple says they are really interested in our apartment and basically can you call us ASAP? So I show this to Sebastian and I'm like, oh my god, like, oh my god, like my jaw literally dropped and I was like, we, we have someone that's genuinely interested, like I haven't even really gotten like one message on this app for like five months. And so I'm like freaking out. I end up like giving Sebastian the phone number and he ends up like calling them for me and it was like the girl and she was like, oh yeah, like basically we're kind of in a pickle, like we rented out our apartment and so we need somewhere to live and they were like in LA at the time, like they weren't even down here in Orange County, we're like an hour away probably from like where they were. And she was like, we're really looking for something, um, when can we come see the apartment? And Sebastian was like, oh, cause it was kind of like messy, it was kind of dirty. He was like, oh, you can come like tomorrow maybe, like honestly that to be good and I could tell she was like kind of like mm, and I was like we need to be urgent about this because this is our one chance to like get out of this apartment get out of this rut get out of both of our depressions and so I was like no we're gonna clean this apartment right now get her in in like a few hours so I told Sebastian I was like tell her to come at like noon and they had like some stuff to do they were like literally packing up their house like they were packing up their things in their car they had to move ASAP and so that was like really scaring us we just woke up thought everything was normal and gonna go as it was nothing was gonna change and these people are like ready to look at our apartment and have suitcases and we're like are you kidding me so we get up we clean that house faster than I've ever done anything in my life the entire two-bedroom apartment from top to bottom spick and span cleaned that thing perfectly and it was ready right before they arrived they came at like 2 30 they were a super nice couple they were like slightly older probably like in their 30s and they were just so sweet they immediately loved the apartment and we show them they didn't have a lot of questions, they didn't make anything difficult, they were just like amazed by it I guess, like they really liked it and we took them to the rooftop pool and we took them and like showed them around and they were like okay so if we want to do this what do we do, where do we go from here and our office lady had told us to just bring them in there and then we would basically switch the lease over to them, it's that simple. They were so eager to help us, they wanted to move in, they loved the place, like it was like legitimately you guys, like they were sent as angels to help us, they were sent to basically like fix our situation and not just fix our situation but like fix theirs as well like they needed help just as much as we did these people are godsends and they end up saying like yeah like let me let's go to the office let's get this going and i can't even explain to you how i felt you guys it was like the shackles had been taken off of me the shackles had been just i've been i was free obviously they needed to get approved and like you know officially sign it over and stuff but we took them in there our office lady took care of them and they just had to go get something from their house so it was delayed like a day so the next day they came back to officially sign it over and they also handed us a check because we had paid for the whole month of that month for rent and so they were moving in on the 16th of October so last Wednesday literally a few days ago so they gave us the prorated rent from the 16th to the 31st which then in turn became our down payment for the next apartment and guess what? The apartment across the street that we have been eyeing for years 
that we have always wanted to live at for the first time I've ever seen it. I've been looking at this place for two years. Had eight weeks free rent. Eight weeks. That is two months rent free. I've only had that opportunity once before back in 2018 and it really did change my life and my financial situation because you don't pay rent for two months and that's a lot, <laughs> that's a lot. And we signed the papers over on Tuesday, Wednesday came. We literally did all the moving stuff on Tuesday night, you guys. We called the movers, we got everything like switched over, we got approved for the apartment in like a few hours. It was insane. Like I can't, like I it doesn't even feel real. Like that's why I like had to make this video cuz I'm just like I'm almost in shock at this point. It's just crazy how everything happened. And now we don't pay in November and December. Me sitting here on October like 19th. I don't have to pay rent until January. Not even a week ago. I was like so down on myself and so down on life. And now I'm not paying rent until January. We packed up all our stuff. We came here, and I can say as much as I loved my old apartment, it has a lot of negative things connected to it for me. This apartment is probably my favorite apartment I've ever lived in. It's the most quality, it's the most like pretty. The location is 100% my favorite I've ever been at, 100%. I'm literally on the street, but the beautiful street, like the hustle bustle, all the palm trees, apartments across the way, Disneyland is literally, I can see the Matterhorn, literally can see the top of the Matterhorn from right here and my parking garage. But on top of all that, I am paying almost a thousand dollars less for rent than I was at my last place. It's a one bedroom, it's very simple, but it's seriously more quality, it's brighter, it has like light, happy vibes, like I feel so happy. Like it's, it's so crazy and I can tell you one thing is when you're happy, the good vibes flow, the good things happen, positive things happen. I've just been having really good luck things happen to me lately. I'm so much more positive about life. I'm not stressed, I'm not worried. Like I know good things are coming. I know money will happen. I'm abundant. Like I'm telling myself that I'm abundant. I am successful. I am happy and I really am and it's like the first time I can like sit here and not feel like life is just like sometimes I literally thought like life can't be real like life is hell like I like life is literally hell maybe we all did something bad in a past life like I couldn't shake it and now I'm in my dream apartment it's cheaper a thousand dollars almost cheaper than what I was paying at my last place so very doable and I don't pay rent till January. It's lit. But I just want you guys to know that like, if you're going through anything, like some of you might not even know, like I was probably like the most depressed I've ever been besides like maybe two years ago. And if you're ever going through anything, I want you to know, and I, it's the most cliche shit in the world, okay? So don't, don't take this as me just saying shit to say it. Like I mean it. Things will get better. Things will get better. I don't care how long it's been and you feel like things haven't gotten better. Your life can change like that. That is something that I learned this week and I think is so important and something literally I just wanted to share with you and that's like a huge reason why I'm making this video is like I don't care how long you've been struggling. I don't care what's happened like I do care, but you know what I mean like no matter what the situation is Your life will turn around for the better if you are going through some bad things and it will and the universe is, is looking out for you God is looking out for you and I truly believe that like I was not supposed to move until March basically and I moved in October and saved myself thousands of dollars. So like hold on to that hope. Don't let it go. Don't let your bad thoughts, your anxiety, your stress, your worries get the best of you. Because that happened to me a lot and it was hard. And it, it is hard. It's so, it's so much easier said than done. But you just gotta hold out because that good thing's gonna happen to you and it's gonna turn everything around and you're gonna be like, ah, so that's what that was for. Like now I get it. Like and you can go into your next situation stronger and better and more positive because you know at the end of the day, no matter how low you were, you're gonna have those highs again. And the lower lows makes these kind of situations even higher highs. And it's just like, the most amazing feeling and at the end of the day always keep your positive attitude i try so hard and when i would get down i would watch like spiritual people on youtube and people that try to help you with like law of attraction and like people that explain how the universe works and it really it really works and it's all true like seriously ever since i've been happy and the weight has been lifted off my shoulders like better things have been happening to me and I've just been in a better mood and I'm just like I know everything's gonna get better for you guys for any of you struggling out there things are gonna get better and if for any of you that are living their best lives I'm so happy for you keep thriving keep positive keep doing your thing but any of you watching this that are having a bad day or a troubled week or a troubled year 
like me like you were not alone and you might not have even known it like you were not alone I was with you but your life can turn around like that so don't be sad it doesn't need to take years to get better months to get better even days to get better it can happen in an instant whatever it is something will change your life something can come in and make your life okay again i just wanted to share that story with you because i honestly thought it was a really positive uplifting story i don't know it's just there's no reason that that should have happened the way that it did there's no reason me and that couple should have crossed paths i know i put my ad up on there and everything but it's just like someone willingly took over my apartment and it was their choice it was fully their choice they wanted to do that I have been so happy here you guys I just I can't honestly can't wait to show you the apartment I have to whether it's a vlog or its own video let me know what you'd like to see leave it in the comments down below give this video a thumbs up so I can see what you guys want um, would love to make an apartment tour would love to show you around I can show you the patio the patio just overlooks everything I, I truly feel like bad energy as well can bring on the feeling of like it being haunted or like you know being watched or something like that it's just like so much negative shit was harbored in that apartment that I literally think it could have conjured up bad energy I just feel like that's all gonna change here. I'm so happy. This is my favorite apartment ever you guys like it's my freaking favorite apartment It's so cute. Yes, yeah, so that's my update you guys. I moved randomly crazily like spontaneously shouldn't have happened it moved within a day and I want you guys to always keep the faith keep the hope don't ever let anything get you down because no matter what bad situation you're in, it will turn around. It will turn around and you just have to keep going. You have to keep pushing. You have to stay positive and be a good person. That's the best thing I can say. Be a positive light. Be a good person to people when people aren't watching and when people are watching. God knows your heart and he'll come through, okay? He will come through. Do you like my shirt? It says, ugh, as if. So cute. <laughs> from Dolls Killer. But yeah, leave some comments down below for what you want to see from me, you guys. Like, content-wise. And I will do that. So, I'm gonna go now. Follow me on social media. Check out my OnlyFans. Um, also have the link to my OnlyFans on my Twitter. So, if you go follow me on Twitter, you will definitely see that as my pinned tweet. Because I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't put the link, like, on YouTube. I feel like YouTube doesn't like me now. But that's okay. Anyways. I love you guys so much. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, that's all for me today. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see your lovely, beautiful faces in my next video. Bye, guys.